Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and we're gonna do another scrapbooking on a budget video. We're gonna talk about a few things. I'm gonna show you some tools and I'm even gonna hopefully give you something that'll help you. So I shared in my last video that I used to be an extreme couponer. I had five kids at home, three were teenagers. Now I just have two teenagers and it's not quite as bad, but um, I'm finding with prices the way that they are in both my hobby, which this is an expensive hobby. If you say that it's not, you're very lucky if it isn't for you. And um, also my groceries. So I've gone back to some of the tools that I used to use as an extreme couponer. And I just um, hope that they will help you. Okay. So I did a cheapscrapbook.com or cheap scrapbook stuff. That's what it's called gosh, goodness, goodness, um, haul. And um, they had a really good 30% uh, off. And if you do nothing else from this video, but go to Cheap Scrapbook Stuff, I'll have the link in the description, and um, sign up for their newsletter. You'll get extra coupons in your email that you won't see by just going to the website. And this was one of those days. It was 30% off, and it was worth it for me to make a large purchase. Now, I'm still sticking to my budget. I'm not even close, but I haven't gone over, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> I am going to show you, though, how I am making sure I'm not overpaying for product, all right? Now, if you're a member of Ginger's Corner Facebook group, you're going to have access to this. I'm going to put a printable, printable version of this on my Facebook group. So you can print it off and you can do it and use it or adapt it however you like. And I hope it helps. I truly do. Um, so, and if it's your first time, come on over to Facebook and join us. We have lots of giveaways and we have lots of fun. Um, so what this is, is this is a tracker. All right. And what this is going to do, it's going to help you track what you're paying for products because that's the key. When we're shopping and we see something we like, we need to be mindful. Part of saving money is being mindful of what you've paid in the past for something. Whew, I got that out without stumbling. Are y'all proud? Because I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, so what this is, is it will just be a general printout. Let me see if I have a blank one left here. Um, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Of course I wouldn't have a blank one. That would be, you know, correct. All right, so what this has is it has um, a scrapbooking budget on a budget tracker. Then you're gonna put the company name. Now I like a lot of different companies, but some people like specific. Maybe you only buy Cardabella, maybe you only buy um, Paper Rose, maybe you only buy Mente, it, on and on, right? But I have one for every company that I buy. So um, that way, cause you, they're not comparable. If you go to buy Simple Stories, it's a lot less than if you're buying Mente. Like it just is. You cannot say, well, I only paid 40 cents for that piece of paper and it be simple stories and wonder why a good deal on a Prima paper is a dollar. Like it's not comparable. You have to do one for each company and be mindful of that. Okay. And then I have, I, these are just, you can put whatever you like, but as standard, you want to know what you paid for a collection of that company. So what did you pay for a collection of Cartabella? For me, I paid $10, it's the less that I paid so far this year, at Scrapbooking for Less. That is another um, budget-friendly um, company that I like to shop at. If it's Cherry on Top and you got a really good deal, that's great. So then, now I do not include postage anymore. I used to, but I don't care where you're at. You're gonna pay sales tax if you buy it in person. And you're gonna pay postage, that's the, the nature of the beast now. It's not like it used to be even five years ago. So I don't include postage in my pricing. I used to, I just don't think that it's fair to do so because I just don't. Now, if you can save on postage on top of that, like recently, Cherry on Top had a deal where if you spent $35, you got free shipping. And you guys are gonna see that haul here later. Might be a little bit later, but you're gonna see it. And that's worth shopping clearance. Clearance, don't be afraid of clearance. Sales, and maybe you just want something new that's come out and it's worth just saving the shipping. That's okay too. Don't be afraid to do that. Just 
Be mindful, we can't do that all the time. I do it too. You wanna be mindful of what you're paying, all right? So for a collection, a solids pack. We're gonna talk about solids pack a lot today because I'd have got an amazing deal on some solid packs and I'm gonna tell you why I buy those, okay? Um, so you wanna go through that. Then ephemera die cuts, that's one we almost all buy, right? And then single papers, I gave you three. Single papers, I like to have three comparisons right? So you'll see I have 49 cents and 55 cents here for cheap scrap. That's so far, that's the only place that I've bought it. And that's okay. That means I got it at both 49 cents to 55 cents. Obviously for me, I don't want to go over 60 cents. It's not, maybe not worth it to me. Okay. Unless it's a piece of paper I really want. So then my next line, let's say my next haul, I got it on cherry on top and I bought a sampling of a collection. I bought one and I would put here, so I would have three companies to buy a single sheet from. Okay. And you can do that with each one of these. I personally find that I do that with these. Usually if I will get a collection lower than the price that this is, I will mark it out and I will put it in one of the free spaces here and I will just draw a line through the whole thing. So then I know I got it cheaper than that price. Okay. Then I found sticker sheets, 12 by 12 sticker sheets for $1.75. I got that on scrapbooking for less and I got puffy stickers of Cartabella brand for $2.63. And you will see, I have done that. I do that for every single one. I do this with my groceries, y'all. You can make the, a tracker and you can do that for, um, instead of company name here, I will put pantry items. One will say produce, one will say meat. And I keep track of what I pay per pound, what I pay per unit, um, my household goods supplies, like my laundry detergent. This is how couponers do it. And then the thing is, is when I'm shopping, if it's in my head, obviously I don't have to come look, but I have a reference and I don't have to try to remember. I have to go look up an order. This is just in a binder or um, a manila folder, whatever you want to keep it in. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever works best for you. I can be like, hmm, I really love that 49 and market paper, but $2 for it seems a little much for a single sheet. I can be like, yeah, that's double what I paid at the lowest price on cheap scrap. So I need to just wait a little bit longer. That's what you can do. Now, if you really want it, I'm not trying to make you hold back and not buy things you don't want. But if you're trying to save money, I will tell you, if you track it, oh, you will hesitate before you pay double what you've paid in the past. I promise you will hesitate. You'll be more patient. You really will. And less money will come out of your pocket. So I will put this on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. You can download it, use it however you like. Um, I hope it helps you make your own if you like. There's lots of savvy people. I didn't do anything magical here. This is just on my computer, okay? Um, so there's that and um, what I do. So let me show you what I got now. Let's go into the goodies. So the Simple Stories bits and pieces here were a really good deal. I think, here, let's just, I I'm, might as well use my tracker so I can tell you, right? So let's find Simple Stories. I've already marked all these down, so... I'm ahead of the game. When I get done with this video, I can just put it away. Pink fresh. Let's see here. Simple stories. All right. So for the page pieces, I paid $1.88 to $2.96. Now it, it varied because my guess is some of these are newer collections than others. Okay. But that's a pretty good deal. That's not bad. Now I don't know if later in the year I won't find it any cheaper. And I will tell you with International Scrapbooking Day coming up, this is gonna be your friend. It's gonna be your friend because just like you, I'm gonna to wanna to shop. I need to know what I'm paying and I don't wanna overpay. It's just not worth it because most of the time it might, they'll have a few new products that have come out, but it, most of the time it's a product that we've all seen already. It's just at a better price. Sometimes it's not and you can't remember everything. At least I can't. Okay, so I got, um, this one here is home. Okay, and I do have this collection, so I will just put it in with that collection. This one here reminded me of Teenagers, and it's called Awesome. Okay, isn't that cute? I love these. They, I love the titles. This one here is called With All My Heart. How cute is that? It has the title, has embellishments. Really, you could buy these, and I've said this before, you could buy these, let this be your inspiration, make a page kit to go with it, and create the layout that they have as the example. You 100, look, it's just cardstock on there. It isn't even their line. They're using as the example. So pick out a teal piece of paper and, and a little bit of peachy pink and go to town. Seriously, and this was $1.88 to $3. Let me tell you, a double page layout for $3 now, boy, you're hitting home. 
which before we used to pay 10 cents for a piece of paper, right? Yeah, okay, I'm showing my age. <laughs> but, you know, those of you that know, know. Same deal here, right? Just take the ephemera and make a page. You could do it exactly like is here if you really like that, all right? So um, this one is Say Cheese Tomorrow at the Park. And then I got a Color Vibes sticker, alpha sticker sheet. Now, to know me is to know very rare do I buy alphas. They have to be cheap. But I will make an exception for these Simple Stories books. I love these books. I use them quite often. And when I can get them under $10, I buy them. I know that in my brain that that's a good price. These were $8.99. Wasn't the best deal, but the Jewel Tones is my favorite. And I ran out. I literally used, I think I have like half a page of a red left of several of these colors. And I think I have this color still. I don't use this color a lot. So I know I will use them because I like to make big titles and then have little subtitles or um, sometimes I just make titles with them. So definitely if it's something you use, it's okay to buy it. No, in general, I do not buy alphas, but I do like these. Uh, really the only alphas I buy anymore is these um, from Color Vibe and I also like um, foam alphas because I can't reproduce foam alphas. That's not gonna happen. And I do like using them. Um, let's see, this one here, another page piece is, is Life is Beautiful. Again, you could make your own, just buy this, okay? Um, this one is uh, Spring, literally. <laughs> spring memories. I love the cart. This one here I had to have. My mom sent me some pictures of her cabin. I don't so much have snow pictures anymore, but I still have some to scrap from the past. And this one's called Winter from Simple Stories. Then I got the foam foamies here. Let's see. Foam embellishments. The foam alphas I paid $3.68. And the foam embellishments I paid $3.65. Not horrible. I've seen them as high as $7.50, so I'm not going to complain. Half off is a good rule of thumb. Don't be thinking, like the Extreme Couponer shows, that everything's going to be free. Those days are gone, thanks to that show. Honestly, that includes your groceries. If you can get it at 50% or more, if you follow the Crazy Coupon Lady on Facebook, she will tell you that all day long. 50% or more, it's a good deal. You should consider buying more than one. That's just a fact, with or without a coupon, okay? So there's those. Then I got these Cartabella Puffy stickers. And let's see what we paid for those. Let me get out my Cartabella. My Cartabella. Here we go. So my Cartabella Puffies, um, I paid $2.63. If you are a Disney lover, for me, these are birthday pages. We're not so much into Disney. We have gone to Disney, but I, I don't know. I have five kids. I didn't take a lot of photos, making sure nobody got kidnapped. <laughs> so, <laughs> um definitely a good buy. Super good buy. Now, I don't know if Tony's going to have these on sale anymore. I don't know if she'll even have them on stock. Her her product rotates often, so don't expect to go over there and find these right now. You might not, especially by the time this video airs, but keep a lookout. She has really, really good deals and good sales. Sign up for those, um, sign up for the, uh, what am I going to say? The emails for um, pricing. Now, let's talk about solid packs, all right? I've got Echo Park, Echo Park. I know I have a car. Oh, no. Do I have a Cartabella? No, I don't. Okay, these are all Echo Park. Now, we all know that if you, what did I do with my other papers? Mayday, Mayday. I don't know what I did with them. They missed appeared. Oh, they're under. Come on, Ginger. Get it together. Okay. If you have shopped at any length of time, collections and their solid packs will match. And it does not matter what collection it is. Do not get hung up on, oh, I need, this would match a Halloween collection. I'm gonna tell you right now, all of these shades are specific to Echo Park. And yes, they are different. So if you are going to do a sampling of product, um, like Miss Janet Madison at RTS Scrapbooking um, has taught us to do. She calls it a sampling of supplies. I cannot take credit for that. Um, if you are going to do that, don't be afraid when you find the solid packs, whether it's a winter this or a summer theme, these solids are going to match Echo Park lines because that's what they do, right? That's how they get us. That's why we need their solids because no other solid we can buy matches it. But when you can find it cheap, buy it for everything and just put it in your cardstock 
folders or I have drawers, wherever you put your um, solid cardstock, okay? Because looky here, solid packs. I got these packs, all right? They have six 12 by 12s, two of each one, I believe, is what you get, maybe. Maybe one of each. No, it's one of each one. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to get, they each have a color, right? So I got it for $3.59. Yeah. That's a good deal for a solid pack. And it's going to go with any Echo Park that I have. Now, I don't divide it into Echo Park solids or um, let's say simple story solids. I don't go that far. I just put it in my solids bin, whichever color I need the most of. If I needed a lot of orange, then all these oranges would go in. If the flip side is a different color, then I would put it on the flip side. Okay. If it's, let's say it's red and I needed red. The thing is, is when I go to match up paper, I'll take that inspiration paper to my drawer. It's going to match. I'm going to know. Okay. I don't, I don't stress that far. I'm not that micromanaging yet. <laughs> If I had more room, I probably would be. So I got a spooky one. I got a winter one because I'm almost out of blue. So the magic. I got a Christmas one. Love this. I'm always looking for red. And I'm low on green after doing Jill's birthday party. Okay. Then um, I've got the Call of the Wild. Um, these are all solid packs. I will break them down and I will put them in the drawers that I need those colors. Done. Good deal. Can't beat that. Okay. Then I'm just going to show you the paper that I bought. You're going to see a lot of solids because I have beefed up my solids through this deal because I got such good prices. Some of these papers were 32 cents a piece after the discount. Seriously, how do you beat that? You can't. Okay, let me see if I can show you here. I know I kept out my my thing. Um... Oh, I don't know where it is. I'm not going to make you wait. But I got them as low as 32 cents a sheet. That is a heck of a deal. All right. So I got a Simple Stories. This is Simple Vintage Essentials. I thought this would work good for school or um, a boy masculine layout, either one. Um, my husband does a lot of cars and he makes um, model cars. So I, I scrapbook that for him because he likes to take photos of them. I mean, we all like to take photos of stuff that we're passionate about, right? I got this paper here um, for uh, to beef up my outdoor line. It's simple stories into the wild. I need orange. I always need orange. I don't know why. I don't even think I scrap that much with it, but I must. Um, Happy Hearts. Okay. I got it for the teal. Okay. Winter. I did buy just some solids because, again, 32 cents a sheet. I got this one for the green. I don't need Christmas paper, but I need green. Okay. I got this one. It's called Sea Life by Echo Park. I love, I we go to the pool. I live in Texas. We swim a lot. So I got two of those. That is the B side. Did a lot of singles this time. Salutation. I have this line. I need green. I bought one of my favorite paper from there. Okay. And then I bought this. I will take these, set them aside. They will not go over here and I will add this to the collection and just have more of it because I like it so much. Okay. In fact, I'm going to set that aside now to do I remember to do that. Salutations again. All of these are going to go in that. Here's the solids, solids, solids. I think actually the yellow is going. Yeah. I bought extra because I'm always needing yellow. Some of these will go in my solid drawer. Some of these will end up in that collection, okay? Just like that. Done and done. All right. Then I did get a sticker sheet. Um, how much did I pay for the Echo? $2.15. Um, I bought this for my grand girl because I don't have a lot of little girl things um, because Jilly's 16. So I thought it was a decent deal. I don't think it's the best deal I've ever gotten. Um, since I've tracked this year, it's the best deal. But, you know, if you shop you know those sticker sheets are not cheap. So really cute, really cute. Then I bought um, Play All Day, one paper and one solid. Now, let me tell you how this is gonna go. I bought Play All Day Boy, okay, a solid, because I like the red. Oh, come on now, is that the last one? I think it is. Okay, so these three, I will put in one of my sleeves, I've shown you those before, and I will put under boy, girl, I have a section on my shelf um, where I have all my simple stories organized, and this will start a collection, all right? And as I get these papers on sale, I will build this collection probably cheaper than I can just buy it outright, 
because I'm not gonna need the whole thing and I didn't like all the papers, so this is how I do it. I just be patient, because sometimes scrapbooking for less will have papers on sale for 25 cents or I'll get a really good deal under 49 cents and I will buy them and I'll just add to this. I've done that many, many times and you would be shocked how fast a collection will build. Okay, I bought this because I loved this together. This is another one of those deals. I only got two papers. I've got the print and I like the B side. This is a start of a page kit. I will put it in a thing, put it in my um, Echo Park section. And if I decide to play with it, I can pull a pink. I Watch this, okay, we're salutations. I wanna show you something here. Tell me that that does not match. It does, why? Because it's an Echo Park solid, it will go. I could pull the yellow, right? And I could just build this kit right here, right now. There we go, done and done. I have a pattern paper. Um, I bought two of them because I liked it. This is the B side, this is the A side. Pulled these two colors in, we're good. Like we are totally good. Oh, look, the B, I like the B side better with it to be honest. There's a collection right there, okay? But I didn't buy the whole collection. I have a whole whopping probably mm, under $2 there because I know I got those solids for 32 cents. All right, then I bought this for the orange because I need orange. There's the B side. Then we've got some more solid. Love this, isn't this cute? I love this. This will go in my outdoors and I love this. Here I did it again, okay? And I know I did it because look, there's the solid. Come on work for me. There's the B side. There's a kit right there. I need a brown probably, but I got all kinds of wood grain. So I'm going to set that aside as well. Maybe I will be mindful if I see another paper that I like that's with it, then we'll add it to it. You know, I need green. You know why? Did all of Jill's pictures. I've got the green. I've got some blue. Um, let's see here. I don't want to show you triples and doubles. I just like this paper. Isn't it pretty? It could be a snow paper. It's called Call of the Wild from Echo Park. It could be a star background. It could be a camping background. I mean, I could use this for almost anything. I'll just put it in my blue, okay? Um, I need birthday paper and I need yellow. Win, win. Probably put one in the birthday, one in the yellow. Then this is a remnant. I bought two of these. This is the A side. This is the B side. I do have a little section of 4th of July papers. This will go in it, okay? Some more solids. I think all the rest of these, red, red, red. Love red. And when I get Cartabella, this is Cartabella. And it was from 45 cents. 45 cents for Cartabella. Best paper ever. Love Cartabella. It's right up there with Mente and 49 Market for me. I did buy one 49 in Market. Looks like I might've bought a couple. Love this one. That's the side I bought it for. Then I bought two of these because I thought maybe I could put the two together. I really like the pink. I like this one. I don't know how I'll use it, but I will. Okay, then I bought some paper rows. Now, I have a love-hate with paper rows. I really do. Um, my love-hate with paper rows is it is beautiful printed paper. Sometimes it is slick and glossy, and I don't care for it. It doesn't make my heart happy, but... It is what it is. Um, I bought this one, it's called Blueprints. Isn't this cool? It's cool. I don't, the blue, the B side, I mean, it's neat, but can you see the sheen on it? It just, I just, yeah. Mm -mm. But this side's not as slick. I don't even know why. I, I bought it for this side though, okay? Then this paper is divine, divine. Somebody showed me this paper. I ran to go buy it. It's slick. It makes me sad. I will still use it. I'm glad I only bought one. I started to buy two because I love this too. I, yeah, I just wish it wasn't slick paper. Same deal here. I bought two because it's red. Y'all know I love red, right? But, mm, mm. and I bought it to go with this. This is a kit for me with paper rose. Um, this is called Merry Little Christmas. Both of them are. Aren't these florals so pretty? This is pretty. But it's, I mean, it's so, it's like working with a picture. That's the kind of slick it is. Yeah. But it is pretty. I, I, I don't know. Some of the best comments I ever got are from my paper, paper rose layouts. Seriously. People just love them, but it just bothers me. It feels like I'm just playing with printed pictures. Um, this one, again, very pretty. I love this. Love this. There's the B side. Okay. This one is called Mechanical B. All right. That is, I hope 
will help you um, track your spending if that's something that you're doing this year. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy seeing all the product. I enjoy hanging out with you. I'm honored you choose to hang out with me. Tell me your comments below. What are your budget saving tips? I want to know. And other people read them and they learn as well. So definitely, I would appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. If you like the video, it helps other people find um, the video. I'll put everything you need um, down below where you can find the printable on Ginger's Corner link. So all you have to do is hit the see more, read the description and click that link. It'll be easier for you. Um, with that, be blessed. I'll see you next time we go shopping. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.